was I supposed to do? I've clean forgot. Huzzah! We must inform Captain Brandt at once. The person we seek isn't here. Perhaps we'd best come. Oh, there we are. Good thing we hung about. Of course. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. Pray inform me when your preparations are complete. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Aught shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so Your Majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. Sways your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. Old Sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the God's way mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas. Unless we find some way to unmake this Godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this Godsway? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brock. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your ma- Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizen. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? Well, look, 
Master, a treasure chest. Welcome to Bjorn's armor, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just hope to see you again. Shall we get some rest then? I return safe and sound, and I dare say wiser for my travels. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should. Have you found any of the items we discussed? A chance. Do come again. Who oh, are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Who's the one requesting? I didn't ask. It is none of my concern. The fellow said aught about the usual place. We're in the right place. But the one we're due to meet has yet to show. Ought we to wait for them? I'm so tired. I've barely the vim to tie my boots. Time to be heading home. Tad Rowley. Now this is a conundrum. Well met, sir. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, if the information we pried from the agent is to be believed, there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer. I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should fortune smile upon us, your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Batal are suspended and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, twas by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. Perhaps a journey to Batal will aid us in unraveling the secrets of the Godsway. I can guide you there if you wish. 
A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an ox cart. Riding in an ox cart would be a- You the Arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. You the Arisen. I've been... Sven wants to meet with you. Sit. Chance to put my feet up is as well pulled out as someone comes to me. There's a ladder here. Oh, excellent find. Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so what do you want? You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. What they're whispering of me now. Greetings. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. I heard from Captain Brandt that you planned to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. 
I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not, and if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. No progress as yet, then. Well? Money can buy Such peace, rain to turn. What business have you here?
Ooh. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Do stop and have a look. I'll take the I've night wares of every yes, ill. Well met, sir. Well met, sir. Well met, sir. Well met, Well met, isn't easy keeping oh, the pants no. right, Fine wares may have a You have my fullest confidence. The way to Batal should be open to you. When you arrive, you would do what is it aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off. Might as well take a look while you're here. Eh? Many thanks. It is most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. We've a journey to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Truly are formidable arisen. It's this way. One must take five. I never judge. Can't just allow 
anyway. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the border where quarrel. Always a pleasure. The Sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. The man was burnt to a... Many thanks! Welcome, if you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Many thanks to you. Why? Peruse at your leisure, sir. Might as well take a look while you're here. Here, eh? Stop by again soon. I trust we only purchase what we required arisen. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party? grows over full. Simply ask me to sell At least I go, knowing I fought to the best of my ability. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see... Grateful to have served you for so long, Arisen. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. Few are as learned on the subject of the written word as Magistrate Waldar. Shall we show him the letter? Ah, oh, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. 
Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. This ox cart's bound for... I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. What now? I am well enough, thank you. Batal is visible in the distance. Different lands make different people. The hue of Batal's soil is as a symbol of that. This. It is a dreary life, this, for all its comforts. It's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. That woman's taking advantage of us, she is. She knows full well we've nowhere else to turn. Will he truly be all right? A moment's prayer can do a... Is there aught I can assist you with? Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Mm. 
Might I beg but a moment of your time? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. <clears throat> Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, miasmite can be harvested from phantoms, monsters that wander the world a night. At last, it all becomes clear. My military's here. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Sir Arisen, I trust that you will do what is pray see to it that naught akin to the recent debacle be allowed to occur. On my feet. Maybe I'll get right. How are we fight with such worn out gear? Can't you see I'm on duty? This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Ah, yes, that sounds familiar. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. What is it? 
Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, perchance. No, oh, a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight, the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not thought Deesa the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort. One that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is... I miss you. Ha! <laughs> a surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though it is safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this Godsway mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect someone of Batali heritage might be able to tell you more. We must rest. Open your eyes, everyone. Tis dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Ready to forge on? Right. Break it, it shan't be from this side. Really? Now? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I'm up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. <laughs> Ha! 
That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Would you care to behold a forgotten rift stone as yet undiscovered in this world? Then follow me. It isn't far. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. That was outstanding, if I do say so myself. Once more! Today. A night-bound forest is fearsome indeed. We cannot let our fear get the better of us. Else, who will protect the Arisen? for a 
a fight, but I can take ye. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. Would that such tranquility could last. You have my support. Haven't you a lantern, Arisen? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our way. I've no love of conflict, me. Mayhap you'd lend an ear to my meager request, sir. Many thanks. My feet always take me here. Aho! A ballista! It is not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. Some sleep. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Perchance you'd like to see it. Thank you. 
Aught fell from the beast as it breathed its last. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go then. Feeling rested, I trust? Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. We'll never get anywhere before we do his rest. Let us return once we've grown tired of money. Aught appears to have changed since we were last here. Let us proceed with due caution. Hmm, I cannot fault your memory. We must get to the bottom of this.
suppose I can finish it tomorrow. Many thanks. Take this with my thanks. We've arrived well enough. Where to next? As soon as my ship's done, I'm off to the tavern. Just want to from over there. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived, an unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Here at last. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray. Should you hear any queer rumours about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. This is a place of prayer. I fear I've much to attend to. was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell us. Her ties to this figure from the neighbouring country have a romantic tint. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is the basement sick room, 
where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessa's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. I do hope not befalls Lubomir. Right, just follow me. Sir Arisen, I trust. Pray see to it that naught akin to the recent. Naught I can do but wait for death to claim me. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. A nun save the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. What about this reeks of a plot? Let us... This is a place of prayer. Would be prudent to investigate the most suspicious place first, methinks. Shall we make for the basement sick room? Very well. I'll guide you there directly. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Looking for a fight? Sir Arisen, pray see to it that naught akin to the recent. How might we enter the basement sick room? Aptly said. I do hope not befalls Lupin. Mean... Got any good stories to share? Not much going on hereabouts. I suppose twas no less than my due. I do hope not befalls it. The... 
Might I beg but a moment of your time? I'm afraid I cannot apply. I fear I've much to attend to. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. You fond of those eyes? Keep them to yourself. I'm quite sure I wasn't dreaming. The other day, I chanced to see a most. I'm nodding off where I stand. Still a while to go before my shift's over. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for Night time already? I thought it was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust? Patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Oh, someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Mayhap, twould serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. You have my support. <sighs> We've found some evidence, but there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Aptly said. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Suppose tis only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. 
Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where do they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Why would Lady Elena meet with such a suspicious personage? Mayhap we ought to ascertain the truth with our own eyes. I can guide you there if you wish. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Follow me. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. Aye. Be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I want? Leave off. I fear I've much to attend to. Chance to put my feet up. All the best tales come from travelers at the end. This place always puts me at ease. There's a No shortage of easy marks. Teachings might solve. Chaos in the world begins with a moment's prayer can do a world of This is a place of prayer. I fear I've much to attend to. We've found some evidence, but there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of the room. Splendid.
You fond of those eyes? Keep them to yourself. Sir, arisen, pray see to it that naught akin to the... In the end, my good... I suppose t'was no less than my... Ch Leave off! You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They let her recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask... You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night without fail. Perhaps you could wait for her to leave. The pursuit of betterment is an endless journey. Kind of it. You're back! Pray, tell me, what? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Ratcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. I suppose tis so. They have I ought to be getting home. Supper and a night's rest. If I were you, Master, I'd not leave this unread. Let's have a look then. Here, if you please. This ox cart's bound for the... I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. What's that? Freshly rested as we are, this battle could need to be We must not let down our guard. This way. Just what I was waiting for. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Tomorrow. Oh, she's she's just just when does my watch end? Peruse at your leisure, sir. 
Fading well, I hope. Need anything? Got some good things on offer. Stop by again soon. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. Aye? In need of a doctor, are you? What's this you're giving me? Oh, I see. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you certainly piqued my curiosity. Whatever your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in... Oh, I don't know. Later. What is it? I had any visitors today. Be gone! I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. The Sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. We must rest. The Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. The Sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. Twas a rip. Remarkable recover. Really, the man was burnt to a crisp. Many thanks. Interested in my wares? Peruse at your leisure, sir. Finally, some peace and quiet.
Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? Tis a fell thing you got there. To be plain, tis more poison than physic. It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only if they could survive long enough, which isn't likely. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. This ox cart will not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I got the buggies. Should have quit. How's about I put you out? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim goes to waste. You looking for a fight? Cut that out, will you? Gotta be somewhere to make some good call. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you are risen! Time to be heading home. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to... Always a pleasure. Welcome. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should... Be glad to assist you. Do come again. Lots to do. Look as long as you see. Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times we... For my next shipment. Mm. Can't work something smells to store anymore. Fancy a look at my wares. Things are hard. This I isn't right. Goodbye. Might as well take a look while you're here.
Eh? Many thanks. Well, take a look while you're here. Might as well take a look while you're here. Stop by again soon. I'll not take that from you. We have sufficient evidence to warrant Lady Elena's arrest. Let us apprehend her. Set proceedings in motion. I don't know where that person can be found, Master. This way. Well and true. No doubt this triumphal story. Welcome to Bjorn's Island. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember... Miser, hope to see you again. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times.
times we live in. Much obliged. Tranquil places such as this. Mm -hmm. Now. My hapa really would have been better off if I don't feel safe here. I need not strong. Tell me, I haven't got any. Is there aught I can help you with? Oh, if you're looking for Lubomir, his can he's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid. Not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry. Though, the abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. <clears throat> so, we finally arrived! A moment's prayer can do a world of good. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Prayer can do a world of good. Sir Arisen, I trust, pray see to it that no. I've trained for this. I'd sooner stay out of the bank. Wish I had someone to talk to. This place is awful dull. Can't complain, really.
I'm sure I can handle this. Watch. If I sleep on my work, get it home. Any loose coin about? This is such a risk. you doing unhand me this instant many thanks for your assistance in this matter Elena is being questioned as we speak suffice to say your testimony combined with the evidence you've procured have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the abbess that she isn't like to shake Pray have this, sir. Tis your reward for aiding us in our duty to this city. Who goes there? journey to Batal will aid us in unravelling the secrets of the God's Way. I'm not taking any passenger. This ox cart's bowed. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Curatives are our... I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? With the port crystal placed, we'll be able to use a fairy stone to return here in an instant. I had any visitors today. My interest is piqued. Very well. You may enter. Oh, 
Oh, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Now then, what business have you with me? Could it be you have come to learn of my magic, hmm? I wonder how you shall fare. Many are those who have knocked at my door only to walk away broken and defeated. Perhaps you would allow me to test your resolve? Bring me the grimoires I yet lack. I will not demand that you gather them all. A few shall suffice to prove your determination. Methinks I espied one of the grimoires in Sir Murden's home. Shall we have a look around for it? Very well. I'll guide you there directly. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Good. We're here. Rifle through your host's possessions unbidden? How? An unpardonable act. I expect Magistrate Walder would be well versed in the subject of grimoires. Fret not, Master. I know precisely where this person can be found. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? When does my watch end? It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. I hope you weren't expecting mercy! was well worth the effort of breaking it. It is a fair reward. We cannot complain. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure.
Oh, on the hunt for the grimoire entitled Towering Earth, are you? One moment. Here it is. Ah, uh, you may take it. I can cast no magics myself, after all. Left in my care, t not to mention. I've already read it. Sir Arisen, I pray see to it that naught akin to... Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Shall we get some rest then? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times we live. Vin. Much obliged. I'm not sure what's best. It's going dark. I'll not stand for this. Please. Oh, horrible. It's too late. All the best tapes come from travelers at the end. Dead on my feet. One day, I'm going to have proper raiment. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Many thanks. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. We've a journey to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. 
Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Do come again. Don't need anything. Welcome to Bjorn's and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price Just remember, my hope to see you again. Well then, how might I be of service? of every ill. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. This ox cart's back. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me. I seem to recall us buying such a grimoire in a shop in the northern part of Melv. I can guide you there if you wish. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Well, comes if you think me a liar, then buy. Something and see the truth. Many thanks to you. Mm. 
suppose I could enjoy. Might as well take a look while you're here. Here, eh? Stop by again soon. Have a gander at my wares. You shot. Can't regret it. Pleasure doing business with you. The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. a remarkable recovery, really. The man was burnt to a crisp. Pleasure doing business with you. Go on, have a look. Well, make sure. How's the day treating you then? Well, hello. Oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the. Order. We're quarrel. Do you come again? Seems my feet. Oh, that is my way. Well, next, sir. How do you think of you then? Got to make heaven while the sun shines. I'll take any chance not to think on my troubles. On. There's much needs to do. Have you found any grimoires? Well, well, you act. Have you found any grimoires? Well, well, you act. Have you found any grimoires?
You know not where they are to be f- I shall divulge but one location. I have heard tell that a village assailed by the dragon, mind you. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my... Apologies, but I can't offer you a... Let's take it easy today. All this waiting around. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. This ox cart's back. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. against a formidable foe. Fortune favors us, it would seem. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrill.
Well, would that ox carts were a bit safer. And a bit swifter, too. It is preferable to walking everywhere. That's for certain. Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Glad we understand each other. Hello, dear master. Of well met. Fulminous shield. I picked it up in Mel. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. Pleasure doing business with you. Dare inside my wrath. Seems this old man's time is up. I suppose I wouldn't have amounted to much anyway. Know you of the brine? Monster. Stop this! I beg of you. That's enough. Give it up! You've nowhere to go! This is more than I can bear. Stop running! There must be some way out of this. I beg of you. That's enough. You've nowhere to go. The scoundrels all are here. Well met. Glad to see you in good health. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. The Dragon's Flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons, or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arm. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray, lend us your aid. All's lost. Here at the inn, we I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. 